modeled by this equation, n of t equals 2310 times e to the 0.54t, where t is in hours. Okay, so here's our, our formula. And you're saying, what am I supposed to solve? Nothing yet. So the number of bacteria is equal to 2,310 times e to the 0.54t. That's our function. What is the initial number of bacteria, and how do I determine that? How do I determine that? <coughs> Set t equal to zero. So for the initial number, that is when t is equal to zero. So n of zero is equal to 2,310 times e to the 0.54 times zero. Any number raised to the zero is one. So n of zero, or our initial population, is 2,310. So that was an easy one. What is the relative growth rate of the bacterium population? The 0.54. You can just read that off of the equation. Relative. It's 0.54, and if you need to change that to a percent, that would be 54%. Ooh, they're growing by a lot. I don't want to have those bacteria. How many bacteria will there be in three hours? How did you figure that out? My head. Is it two or three? Well, Loni. Mine Matilda. Mine Matilda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is when T is three. So in three hours, T will be three. So we plug that in, N of three is equal to 2,310 times e to the point, it's point five four. Five four times 3, and we calculate that.
equal to t. And that one you can put in your calculator because can I have fractions of hours? Yes, I can. So I don't have to round this to a nice number of whatever Wentworth wants or whatever it says in the problem.